my relationship with God is not superficial. Oh, there are times he tells me off. There are times I'm fasting, I'm in his presence, and he tells me certain things I've done, and I start crying. But the love, you can tell that this, man, this God loves you. He loves you. Praise God. You know, my body was diagnosed with cancer in 2019, December. And I, I shared this last week. And I, I was, of course, I was like, God, what's going on? You know, 2019 was a tough year for me. It was one year where everything just went crazy. I didn't understand what was going on. And then I got to the doctors and they said, okay, it's confirmed. Your body's got cancer. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> but then the beautiful thing was that they said it was manageable it wasn't it was really it was caught very early okay and they said you know we can either start chemotherapy or we can monitor you and I said to them I said let's monitor you <laughs> I mean I was thinking chemotherapy I'm going to lose my hair you know and it was the best decision I made. Because I was meant to start chemo in, J in January 2020. And if I had started, COVID came in in March. And most people that were vulnerable at the time, most of them died. And I know chemotherapy does affect your immune system. So I said, you know, let's just monitor this stuff. So every six months, I do an MRI. I take drugs and all that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, you're so f fantastic. You're amazing. Father, we bless your name. You know, while I was talking to the Lord at the time, I said, God, what's going on? Why? The Lord used my wife, and I think I shared this last week, and she said to me, Kola, listen, God told you to serve him. He, he, uh, he gave you some specific instructions which you have not obeyed. And I'm going to read to us from Psalm 91 this morning. And she said, I, I don't know, she was just speaking, you know, God actually comes on people. At times they just talk. But it's not them talking. I could tell it wasn't my wife talking to me. It was God talking through her. And she said, why should God keep you here if you're not going to do what he tells you to do? <laughs> and I, I could tell because I was fasting. I could tell that this is not my wife talking to me. So February 2020, we had the Lost Supper here. Because God told me to do this. This was like 20 years ago. And I started, then I stopped. So we had the first one again here at the Ripley Arts Center. February 2020. And I gave, I only announced it like three weeks before and the whole place was full. full. The big hall was packed. People came, about over 100 people came for the program. I was like, wow. <laughs> and I said, okay, the Lord also told me in 2010 that we should start a church here. And I said, no, I don't want to. I said, I don't want to start a church here. <laughs> I used to be a pastor when I was younger. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to, I don't, it's the most difficult job in the world. I don't want to do it. But now, I was ready to serve him and obey him. So we started the church right here. October, first Sunday in October, 2021. And I remember my first MRI was in December 2020. And 
by that, when I did my first check, my PSA had dropped from 3.7. It had dropped to 3.2. <laughs> by 2021, December, it had dropped to 2.7. I went for my check again on Friday. And I got to Beckenham and people were congratulating me. Like, congratulations. Like, <laughs> so what? You tried. You did well. <laughs> because I'm totally cancer free. Praise God. And the doctor was like, you know what? I don't have to see you anymore. Your next appointment can be by telephone. So I'm really happy. I don't have to do any MRI anymore. <laughs> I'm like, God. God. You know, God can be trusted. He can be trusted. So when I come here and I talk to us about serving him, and I talk about having a relationship with him. It's not superficial. I'm not speaking, you know, something I read. I'm talking about an experience I've had for over 40 years. Of a God who is faithful. 